Uh, hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're watching the YouTube, welcome back to another podcast. If you're listening to the podcast, uh, we're doing both things uh, simultaneously nowadays. I've worked out how to do that. Um, the, the glare is a little bit annoying me, so I might actually just fiddle around and make sure I can move the camera. I might actually, might be able to, might be able to block that out. Give me two seconds, just give me a second, guys. Uh. How do we look? Is that good now? Red on red. Red on red, I blend. I blend in. So for the podcast, guys, I uh, just put a little bit of a wall up to lock out the glare from down the driveway. <laughs> because uh, I'm in the garage and I've got the garage door open. Uh, we'll talk to you guys today about opinions, um, about um, about voicing them, I guess. Um, I think I've touched on this subject before uh, in, in previous YouTube videos or podcasts. Um, it's about, you know, I had a, I had a comment on my, on my post today. I shared a video of uh, Taz Police, um, they were uh, they were in a in a, they were in a in a situation where you know it was life threatening. It was very um, you know like it would have been a very high intense situation. The intensity would have been up. The adrenaline would have been up. Male officers' testosterone would have been up. Okay, so we've got a lot of chemicals going on around the brain. So a lot of things going and happening. Um, and officers, but officers are trained. That's the thing. These guys are trained professionals to do this to deal with this now if you haven't seen the video I'm, I'm not real good at you know being able to put videos inside other videos okay so I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna lay it out to you All right, guy was uh, had the, the police had arrived to the scene um, of an armed robbery of a, um, of, a of a pharmacy uh, so a chemist if, if you don't know what a pharmacy is then you know and they got to the scene, there's like, I don't know, 10 cops, roughly, 10 police officers, um, doing their job, which is what they, you know, which is great. They did their job, they did it, they did it great, they did a great job, they did a really, really good job. But, at the end of the day, this guy didn't look too well, mentally. Um, you know, and you can, you can hear the officers yelling at him and, and, and really, like, being very demonstrative, okay? The situation's very high intense, I get that. Okay, I understand that, but you're probably not gonna like the next part of the conversation that we're gonna have here. So, um, they're being very demonstrative. Now, there's a guy with a knife, and he's sort of walking around disorientated, a little bit staggered. Looked like he was drunk, but he probably just wasn't medicated. He probably, you know, he probably was supposed to be medicated. He was supposed to have a minor, minor minder, Possibly, who knows the situation, but he wasn't a full bread basket. Okay, so he wasn't all there. Not all the light bulbs were turned on upstairs. But you know, the point is, the point of this video is, is that, that I, I created a post where I I found some flaws in the police officers' attempts to to nullify the situation. Okay, so this man um, at one point he he gets he gets called. Um, an idiot. At one point, he gets, um, he gets, he gets, he, he's getting yelled at, like furiously by one of the police officers, like furiously, like the police officer is very angry, uh, which is which is understandable. You know, him and his colleagues are in a in a in a really high stakes situation where anything could happen, anything, anything. Right? This guy could just all of a sudden lunge at one of the other officers. Anyway, an undercover cop car come along, police car, sorry, an undercover police car come along and um, went to nudge him and uh, that, that police officer was being very demonstrative towards the, the person who was very well not equipped to understand what was going on. I mean, he had a knife. He, he sort of, under, he knew what he was doing. I mean, you don't just go to a pharmacy with a knife and, and not know what you're doing, okay? So let's get that off the record first, okay? So I understand that he, in some capacity, he knew what he was doing. But for what reason, no one will know. Other than the fact that there's a key piece in this video that I didn't really 
pick up on until I watched it again and put it really close to my ear, is that at one point, at about halfway mark of the video, he says, just kill me. Now this guy must have some shit going on in his life for people for, for, for him to yell that at the cops. Just kill me. Just kill me. Now nobody just just says that. You know, no one just says just kill me. Because especially in that situation. But you, and you can see the way that the way that he was handling himself and the way that he was uh, approaching. He was he was he was in he was in no way, shape or form able to to be fit enough to run at a police officer and stab the police officer from distance. Okay, he's one, he's got a knife and the cop's got a gun. Okay, so it was always gonna be a losing battle. Um, so the, the undercover cop car came along, so let's get back to that point. Um, the undercover cop car came along and the one that was being demonstrated, like no, like, I'm, not, I'm not having a go at him, okay? I'm not, this is not about, this is not about whether, you know, he was a good cop or a bad cop. He's a good cop. He did. He did. Every, he did. He did everything he, he was supposed to do. He 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 stayed away from the the perpetrator. He held a gun at him and and was asking, well, yelling at him to put put down the knife. And and he wasn't listening. And that's okay. Okay, that happens. So he asked he asked the other the undercover cop car to hit him. So they attempted to hit him and, and he dodged it. And then. They, he sort of walked out, and you could tell by the way he was walking at the he was walking at the police officer. He was taking really slow but big steps, and he wanted to be shot. He wanted to be, and this is a really this is a key part, a very good piece here. I I applaud the police officer for not shooting him. I applaud him. I applaud him heavily for not shooting him, because that guy wanted to be shot. Okay, like I said, there is something. There was something else. There is something else very dramatic going on in that guy's life. Uh, whether we understand or not is not up to us. Um, it's that's that's up to him. Okay, that's on him. That's his problem. That's his what he's got to deal with. But he he wanted to be shot. You could tell that he wanted to be shot. Okay, you could just the video is out there on Facebook. You can go find it. It's. Um, just to, for Tasmanian police, uh, knife, Rosetta, you'll find it um, if they haven't already pulled it down because for some reason Facebook lately and YouTube are pulling down videos randomly, the ones that don't adhere to um, what people want to be, what, what people want to be, uh, want to be telling us. That's a whole other story. Hold on, story. Hold on, story. So anyway, uh, they hit with the car, knocked him down, right? Knocked him down. Asked him to drop the knife. He dropped the knife. At, at about, I don't know, half a metre away from him, he sort of just top, he didn't toss it, toss it, but he just half ass tossed it, and then the cop come in and kicked it, kicked it away, right? Now this guy's no threat. There's no, he's, he's on his knees, his hands are on his, up here, he, he, he's surrendered. He's surrendered, okay? So he's surrendered. Whether he's healthy or unhealthy person, he has surrendered. He has now given up his will, and he's able to give up his fight, he's put up the white flag, okay? Right, he's got, his hands are up, he's given up, and he's he's now, he's now probably in um, in the regret phase, all right? He's probably going through the regret phase, like, shit, what did I just fucking do? Like, fuck. Now, and, and he's probably scared. He's probably fucking shooting himself. First of all, he's got a knife, and he's got like 10 cops pointing guns at him, right? And then he's got cops yelling at him. And calling him names and screaming at him, like swearing at him, at him. We all know how people, how humans respond to people being sworn at. That's a situation where you, you got to sort of have a bit of leeway because it's high. It's a high intense moment, and I get that. Okay, I'm not. I'm not arguing about that. I'm not. Um, um, I'm not upset about that. What I'm upset about is, well, not upset, but what I find that I, I dropped my point of view on was the fact that when I watched the video, they had the guy pretty much detained, he was he was done, all right? He's on his belly, he had his head turned, um, he had one hand being cuffed and one, one arm twisted right back. He had a police officer on his shoulders, he had a police officer holding him uh, in his left arm, he had a police officer cuffing his right arm and he had a police officer on his legs Therefore, there come, here comes the fifth cop, okay? The fifth cop had just, right, they'd all done that, and it'd gone about three, four seconds. The guy had complete, he was he, he was doing nothing. He wasn't restraining, he wasn't doing anything wrong, other than the fact 
that he'd been attempting to stab people, and he he did attempt to stab the window of, of the vehicle. But I think that I think he was trying to do, and this is being objective. I think that he was hoping that if he stabbed at the cop car, that that would warrant him being shot because he's making an attempt, uh, a, a more of an attempt on uh, putting police officers' lives at risk. So, um, so now they've got him detained, and this other cop comes in and just gives him one right in the back of the head. Now, not the, the cop that was on his shoulders had already given him two in, on the chin, which is okay. Like that, I'm okay with that because he's he's in the middle of getting him to the ground and, and making sure he doesn't move. The guy's not moving. The guy's not resisting. The guy's not. He he's got nowhere to go. He he it wasn't it wasn't called for. It was clearly not called for. Okay, people on my Facebook are going absolutely nuts like they always do. People on my Facebook, I don't know, tend to think that I'm I'm out here trying to um, cause a storm or or um, fish or troll. Um, I had one comment asking me if I was trolling. Um, I, I said to him that. Uh, we're, we're in the middle, well, basically, social media, um, social is, you know, social is what social is, isn't it? Socialising, uh, and we have an app, it's via media, social media, uh, you know, so we're able to socialise through a application, um, therefore, these conversations would probably happen around uh, a fire pot, or around a barbecue, or around a few beers at at night. This is what I'm trying to get to the point uh, of the video here about opinions and point of views and not getting upset and, and then people saying, oh, you're a troll or your opinion's stupid. I had a comment saying that I was, I'm, 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 I'm stupid. Um, uh, that, you know, that's not warranted. That's, that's not, because somebody, just because somebody has a point of view and they express it, okay, and it doesn't agree with your point of view, doesn't make them stupid. It doesn't make them idiotic, and it doesn't make them stupid. And then when they point out your flaw, that you contradict yourself, because, you know, the, the commenter had told me in the comment that, um, oh, you know, I've, I've, I've been in this situation and, and I probably didn't deserve the, to get the knee in the head. But, you know, that's the police. I probably didn't deserve it, but I got one anyway. I prob I, I don't agree with the I don't agree with you disagreeing with this is what uh, this is what is, is 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 really flawed with that statement is the fact that this person disagrees with the fact that I disagree with the police officer punching him in the head after the fact that he's already been res restrained but then that person says I don't agree with you however this has happened to me and I probably didn't deserve it either that that's it's that's 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 why even comment like why bother wasting your time scrolling past me on facebook and doing my bang it's commenting that's a pointless comment that's un, that's not called for and then another person oh you you're obviously bored social media you're obviously bored you're, you're, you're trolling no i'm not bored i saw this video i i watched it um and i'm, I'm expressing my point of view you don't tell the news person on, at the news desk at six o'clock when you sit down and watch the news and eat, eat tea with the missus and go, oh, well, she's bored. She's, she, she's fucking bored. She's trolling. You know, you don't say that to the news person. You, you don't. You don't sit at the fire pot or the fire pit or the barbecue uh, with your mates and go, oh, we tell a story and then oh, I thought that was wrong. And then you go, oh, that was wrong. Or I, I don't agree or I disagree. Or, and you go, oh, you're fucking, you're trolling, mate. You're trolling. Why? It's the same thing. It's just that we're doing it via we're doing it via an application on 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 the internet. Essentially, it's just that the the social aspect the social aspect is still there, okay? But it's just on a, on an app. So now it's classified as trolling. You know, it's classified Tro trolling would be would would have been if 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 I was trolling on on that status, trolling would be to post a status and then just answering gifts, you know, and, and, and laugh at everybody's comments. That, that's trolling, that's trolling. But I, I, I responded to the, to not the argument, well, it's an argument, but it's not an argument. It's a, it's a healthy discussion between two people. And obviously 
the more people that comment, it's obviously a discussion between two people, but more often. So, that you know, social media is social media for a reason. It's, it's, it was called that because it, is, it has the social aspect about it that you don't get in, in, in so you, if you don't, you know, if you're at home and you, you haven't, you know, you've had a long day at work and your mate asked you to go over and have a few beers and you said, oh, no, nah, well, at least you can still socialise with that person via the app, via Facebook, via Messenger, via Twitter, via TikTok, via LinkedIn, via whatever the app is. It doesn't matter what the app is. The point is it's it's it, social media is a platform where people can express their point of views, share their lives, express their point of views, um, share their businesses. Um, that's, what's, that's what it's designed for. It's designed for people to come together and communicate on a massive, massive scale. All right? It's, it's, it takes away the, it takes away the, the, the fact that, okay, well, now I have to go and drive four hours to go and hang out with me mate that who, who moved away or I have to, it takes away the, the, the distance. Now you can socially, you can socially interact with each other via Facebook. And that's what it's essentially for. So the last few days, it's been weird. It's been really crazy. Um, and I've never experienced this in my, uh, I mean, I've experienced, like I've experienced stuff before, like bullying and, and nitpicking and, and stuff like that, but I've never experienced this before. Like, and I've posted heaps of shit, heaps of, sh heaps of shit before this, before COVID-19, well before lockdowns, well before stuff, I've posted heaps of shit, tons um, of, of shit that people would, would be wanting to go back and forth with. But because everybody is now essentially on social media, it's more prominent, you know what I mean? It's more in your face because how that works is the more people comment on one one story that you're connected to, that you're connected to, that they're connected to, that their friends are connected to, it starts showing up on their news feeds more. Okay, well I know that person and I'm friends with that person and I'm friends with that person. And then people are commenting. So it, it's it's bringing it to the top and it's creating, it's, it's, it, it's doing what it's supposed to do, which is create a conversation point for people to socialize around. Whether the people agree or disagree is neither here or there. Okay, because at the end of the day, you should be able to have a healthy discussion with, with your friends as you would at a, at a, a, if you went to their house and sat around a fire pit or if you went and sat around a barbecue or you went and sat inside and just chilled. You know, and what, and, and it's no different. But for some reason, people tend to call it a, a trolling and, and um, oh, they get weird about it too. Like they get they say, oh, well, you're just fishing for comments. And well, no, I'm not. I'm. Well, I'm not fishing for them. I, I just put my point of view out, and if, if people agree, awesome. If they disagree, awesome. At least at least say why you're going to disagree. If you go, oh well, no, 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 you know, nothing happened. But you clearly see the evidence, and the evidence is right there. And but because everybody else is disagreeing, more people start disagreeing, and then more people, and then you'll find you'll find people who won't comment on your post because they agree with you. But because it conflicts with, with the majority, they won't comment, but they'll create their own post. They'll create their own post and 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 be like, oh, this is this is wrong, you know, which is, creates more voice. But it you know, it, when it when you have a healthy debate with someone, you shouldn't get angry and you shouldn't resort to name calling. Because you, you you're essentially debating the point of view. Okay, I, I found that it was wrong. I, I thought the officer was late on the punch in the head and I didn't think it was warrant or necessary. That's, that's my point of view. There it is. I, and I base that point of view on the fact that the video footage shows me that the man said he wanted to kill himself. Not kill himself, but he wanted to be killed. So he asked to be killed. Um, I also base that on the video evidence of watching him get detained by four police officers and then uh, three to four seconds later, another police officer comes in over the top and punches him in the head when he's detained. I, 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 the evidence is there. That's the thing. Like, the evidence is clear as day. All right? I don't agree with it based on the evidence. Okay? People were, were, were disagreeing with me because it was a, a high intense situation and people were um, not sure um, 
you know, they were being objective of the outcome. Like, did he, was he spitting on the officers? I don't think he was. It didn't look like it. He wasn't resisting, and it clearly shows that he's not resisting. He doesn't have any other weapons. He's got a hand behind his back being held there like this by one copper, like that, and his other one's right back here where his shoulder's about to be popped out. And that, that, that force is okay because you want to get that guy handcuffed and you want to get him safe and you want to make sure he's not going to do any harm to you or anybody else, plus himself. You don't want that person to harm himself. Okay, so the last thing you want him to do is hurt you. But the last thing other than you is you don't want him to harm himself. Okay, because he could have easily just turned the knife on himself and just stabbed himself in the throat. You know, who knows what the outcome would have been if that car hadn't have been there and hit him. Because I think that was a great move. I will not disagree with that. I think at the time and in the situation, that vehicle, that driver, that police officer did the right thing because it diffused the situation. It helped create the restraint. It put the guy on his knees. He dropped the knife. He, he, he then had the knife kicked away by a police officer and it got booted across the road. So it was way out of reach. He had his hands up and then he was pinned to the ground and then he was being handcuffed. Then he got punched in the head. Not good. That's not good. Not necessary. But that's my point of view, okay? If you disagree with that, that's fine. But disagree with it after you've watched the evidence and at least validate your point. Because if you're not validating the point, then what's the point in your argument or your disagreement? You can't, and don't, and you, you can't roll into an argument and then contradict yourself straight off the bat because then you look like an idiot i left the comment i've unfriended that person because that that that's just that's twice now twice now that person has done that on my statuses and i've unfriended them because they're that's not that's just silly that's not smart that's just coming in and making a comment looking for what looking for bait trying to bait people trying to bait me into getting into a a dispute with him in an argument, but it didn't work. I didn't buy it. I wasn't buying what he was selling because it didn't make sense. You can't say I disagree with you, but hang on a minute, it's happened to me. I probably didn't deserve it, but oh well, it's the cops. You, you can't have it both ways. You really can't, um, unfortunately. You can either, you either accept it or you, you don't. And you gotta, you gotta know why you accept it or you, why you don't. That's, that's how you got to, and how to form an opinion or a point of view is you log, you look at the evidence. You look at it. People think I'm crazy for some reason. I don't know what that is. Why, if you watch this video or listen to this podcast and you're one of my friends that are on my friends list, please message me and, and, and explain to me why you think I'm crazy. Why you think that I'm, I'm trolling. Why, if you don't understand all of this, entire video in its entirety basically explaining what social media is for so social media was created by mark zuckerberg so that students could share information with each other to share information with each other so if you were going to harvard university and then your mate went to i don't know the university of new york and you go you both went to college together but you got separated because of university choices it, he created it so that, that, that people could communicate together, so people could socialise. And then what happened was it got bigger than just university and colleges and it became a global thing where people can now build businesses from Facebook, can sell stuff on Facebook, can do garage sales but not have a garage sale. You know, that's what it's for. It's, it's, it's an outlet for you to be able to socialise and communicate and, 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 and create content that creates conversation. That's all it is. It's just creating a conversation. I'm, I'm locked in my house for the next 14 days with limited restrictions to go anywhere. You know, I'm, I'm gonna wanna communicate with other people. And if I, have to, if, I, if I have to, you know, watch something on Facebook and digest it and then look at it and go, hang on a minute, and, and, and I, I, I firmly disagree with it. I firmly disagree with what happened in the end. I firmly disagree with how that police officer handled the situation at the end because of my moral compass. So therefore, I am justified in having my opinion and I'm justified entitled and, and entitled to share it just as you are. 
as you are. You're entitled to share a photo of your son, your daughter, your dog. You're allowed to tell a story about your dog. You're allowed to tell a story about what happened when you went to the supermarket yesterday. You're entitled, and then something happened, and you didn't agree with it. You know, I went to the supermarket yesterday, and I saw a lady sneeze all over the nuts. I don't agree with that. I don't, I don't think it was silly. But anyway, that's my video. Uh, that's my potty. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, key takeaway message here is don't get wound up on Facebook about what people think and don't think. Um, don't get wound up about people and what they think about you, I guess. Um, I've had ridicule my whole entire life. I'm, I'm used to it. Um, it's, it's nothing new to me. Um, and I, I can move on from it. I'm, I, I know that at the end of the day that, that, that I'm entitled. To my opinion and I'm entitled to view it I'm entitled to to uh, express it I'm, uh, I'm, uh, whether it be on social media or whether I'm at my mate's house sitting around and having a yak in his lounge room that's that that's the key there it doesn't matter whether you're in person or you're not in person you can still you can still that's that's what that's what that's what true communication is is being able to talk about stuff that that doesn't doesn't quite click or register in your brain as as right or maybe it was wrong or maybe it was right but that's the point the point is to be able to talk to other human beings and and, and understand why why okay why do they not like it okay well, why do they like it that that's the beautiful thing about us as humans we're able to do that and we're actually able to talk about it you know i don't know how dogs decide over an opinion we don't know how Birds do it. We don't know how spiders do it. We don't know how anything else does it other than ourselves. And and if anyone tells you that you're stupid or you're an idiot because you voice your opinion and that you see something differently than anybody else, don't worry about them people, okay? Don't worry about those guys. Um, they've obviously got a lot going on in their own lives that they need to come in and, and, and try and belittle you for having an opinion, okay? Because... You, 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 you're free to have it, okay? It's something that you can have. You, you don't have to pay for it. You have to pay for your opinion. Your opinion's free. Whether people take it on board is a different story. Whether people um, agree or disagree, is another, you can't control that. But what you can control is making sure that when you put out your opinion, you, you also put it out with the facts that you, you put it out with. So the video is the facts. I, I recorded the video, I screen recorded it, and I, I even broke it down. And, and if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Anyway, thanks for listening to the potty, listening to, watching the YouTube video. Um, if you want to hear more pods or watch more videos, subscribe, like, share. Share the podcast if you're enjoying them. Share the YouTubes if you're enjoying them. Um, we'll get back on to talking about uh, Q, QAnon, um, the things that I've been reading about, uh, satanic rituals and... Um, Bill Gates. We'll talk about some of that stuff too eventually. Um, I'm just still doing some research. Um, and we'll just talk about just shit as usual, all right? And me just expressing myself because that's, that's what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.